Yo, how is everyone for Premier League predictions for the last one before the World Cup? Um, so, here we go then. Before a whole month break. London Strong on Saturday. I predict Man City 3, Brentford 1. This not based on what happened in the EFL Cup, but this based on the confidence there is at Bournemouth at the moment. Everton just not quite there. So, a prediction is Bournemouth 2, Everton 1. Um, Liverpool have got um, Southampton, the new manager. I think it'll be a game too tough too early. I'm sure Nathan Jones um, will love his experience as he, he, like any manager, would love to come up for the Championship to the Premier League for that experience. I just, that's what football is about, basically. Um, and I'm sure he wants to sack the impact that Villa did against United last weekend. But I just don't think it'll happen. Not quite yet. Not first game. So I do predict um, 3 1 Liverpool. But Southampton will score. Um, next game, so unsure what to predict here. Nottingham Forest against Crystal Palace. Nottingham Forest won against Tottenham in the EFL Cup. They should have beaten Brentford. But you can't do should have in the Premier League. You've got to do, did. You've got to do the job. So that's where their survival will go down to. The far margin of they've done it or they should have, should have done it. So, but I did say uh, this game. I know this is going to sound mad. Nottingham Forest 2, Crystal Palace 1. And this is when they need momentum and the season to carry on, not this break. But hey. It's what it is. My next game was so the Tottenham 2 Leeds nil. The Leeds manager might be under pressure, but I don't think any future should be decided by this game. Um, I think it would be madness if at the hierarchy they decided, to be honest. But I think, yeah, Tottenham 2-0. Leeds, though, I think, will show character. Um, the manager's good. I think he'll be the one to keep them up. So, yeah. Next game, I predicted West Ham 1, Leicester 1. West Ham haven't had the greatest of starts of season. But they're starting to find a bit of um, improvement. And a bit of getting some results, I'd say. Um, Leicester also. Leicester really um, come on in the last few weeks. But West Ham is always a tough place to go, so I predict West Ham 1, Leicester 1. Next game. Um, for some reason, I predicted Newcastle 2, Chelsea 2. For some reason, because Newcastle had a great start this season, I think they'll finish in the European spot this season. Chelsea... Um, I think after the World Cup, they'll start firing all cylinders and they'll start showing what they're about. Um, I think Potter's the right one to do that. I think Tuchel school was quickly gone when things started to go a bit off-boil. Um, so yeah, I'll put 2-2 two -two for that. Next one, Wolves against Arsenal. Well, when Wolves' new manager gets going and gets the team playing, they're going to be a fantastic team to play. They're going to be a lot better than they are. They've got the players, they shouldn't have the mentality, don't have the form, and he'll change that. But this game, I had to put 2 0 Arsenal. Um, so, yeah, that's how it is. But play, if, play this game. If it works out with the new manager, with how good he is, what a record he's got, next season it could be opposite way around.
Um, not saying it will be, but there's always a possibility. Um, next game, Brighton against Aston Villa. Look, Villa were fantastic against United in the first game um, under the new manager. Fantastic manager as well, Union you know, anyway. Um So, but I did put two on Brighton, being biased, but I think home advantage. At the moment, we've done so well after winning in, in the EFL Cup at Arsenal. Um, so, yeah, 2-1. Uh, but I don't think the scoreline, I think it'd be one of those... Just a one clinical chance might be all the difference for Brighton. Um, despite how good it been, I think Villa will really give us a game. Um, Fulham against Man United. I final game actually. I put Fulham to Man United two. I think it's gonna be a fantastic game. Mitch Mitch Rich is doing well for Fulham. United aren't doing this great. But again, they were they are already on the table, so yeah. So on to the next part of this video. This is not a normal occasion to do this because it's not a normal occasion an England team gets an England squad gets announced. Um, so the England squad generally, I'm very happy. But again, I think. Saka does have his favourite players, and that's all good, but personally, I think Tamori could have gone in place of Harry Maguire, because Maguire is very clumsy, I don't want him scoring an own goal or making a mistake that leads to a goal for the opposition, but ends us, England, getting knocked out. So, and Tomori has won um, silverware at Roma. Was it the Italian Cup or the Serie or something? I think it was. Might have been Serie I don't know. But he won silverware. He's very more direct, fast, um, confident, consistent player. And um, with Harry Maguire, maybe it's just being at United just weighing him down too much. And how he hasn't been winning stuff enough with United. And you always wonder when um, you can win a trophy and so on. Or um, if you've got a chance against Man City, if you've got a chance against Liverpool, then um, you might get a big result against them. But then lose to Brighton. Then you might go and beat someone in Europe and then lose to another team. You know, it's just, yeah, so... Kyle Walker, he's a great player. Man City are a phenomenal team, but he's also very capable of making a mistake, and which which could cost cost England. I think Gareth Southgate has taken a defender too many. Ward Prowse would be fantastic in midfield, and. If you go too defensively, you take a squad too defensively, then what happened against Italy in the final of the Euros, what happened against Croatia in the semi finals of the last World Cup? We go too defensive, we can't go too defensive. You've got to have more attacking mentality. In a, in a good game against a team you know, you've got to score early, but you can't defend um, too much because it's France. They can pick you apart um, if you set up to defend, set up to counter, set up to. We got to be clever. We got to be clinical. We got to be obviously strong, but we've got to really play our style, attacking. And we've got Foden. We've got a Grealish. We've got Kane. We've got players who can do that, and we need it. Because how well we did at the Euros until we went ahead against Italy and then defended way too much. Against Croatia, how we started, you know, it catches up with you if you can't be. So, yeah, and also I don't really want to have Walker and Dyer back because they've not been the most prolific defensive du duel, well, 
not dual, but for their own clubs kind of thing. So yeah, basically that's what my thought was on England. Also, I'd love to report Ivan Eva Tony, but there's none of those strikers I would have not taken. So it's such a hard decision. Um, I mean, Callum Wilson's a fantastic player as well. Saka, Rashford, everyone in that um, attacking um, department are fantastic. So that's my verdict. Um, yeah, just watching anyway. I'm out. Thanks. Bye.